Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all well wherever you are and whatever you're up to. I'm Lauren and in this video I wanted to give you a little bit of a tour around and talk you through our beautiful new spring window display that we've got in the shop that you can see behind me here. So I'm actually filming this in the evening. There's quite a lot of hustle and bustle in the shop during the day as the team are really busy picking all of your online orders. Thank you very much for keeping us busy. So I've come to film the talking part of the video in the evening but I did manage to take loads of really lovely close-up clips that I'm going to share with you. The sun today in the window was absolutely beautiful, it was such a gorgeous day and I think it shows off the window really lovely. So Jo who designs all of our windows, who works in the shop, she's amazing and very very talented and she always just comes up with the most amazing ideas that are very striking. So for this window she's gone for a sort of subtle 70s theme and the colours in it are really lovely and vibrant. So these gorgeous paper flowers are really bright orange contrasted against a cream colour and they just look amazing. They stand out so well from the, when you walk past the window from the pavement. They just look really, really striking. So there's some hanging up from the ceiling and then there's also some glued onto sticks as well. So it looks like a lovely flower meadow. And then we've got four outfits in the window. So the first one is the Merchant and Mills ED top and it's made using our sunset double gauze fabric which just pairs really beautifully with this design. It's got really full sleeves and quite a sort of A-line shape and a lovely little necktie at the back and it just looks really lovely in summary. So we've paired that with some jeans. And then our second mannequin is the Friday Pattern Company Adriana top and we used some of our marled brushed jersey fabric for this. It feels so, so soft and I love the shape of this as well. It's got really large oversized sleeves but the drape on this fabric just means that the sleeves sit beautifully around the gathers that are over the shoulders and then around the cuffs as well. It's just such a beautiful garment, really flattering neckline as well. And then the next outfit is the True Bias Marlowe cardigan, which is the cropped version. And we used some of our pink snuggly waffle knit fabric for that one. So it's just really lovely and soft and cozy. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous color and a gorgeous pattern. And then underneath that, we have got a True Bias Rio Ringer t-shirt which is made using some of our soft pink and ginger striped loop back fabric. And we've paired that with some jeans as well. And then the final garment is a classic Green Line Linden sweatshirt. And for that, we used some of our Medal loop back jersey. So it's got quite a lot of drape to it. It's probably a bit more of a lighter weight fabric than you would typically think a sweatshirt would, would be made from, but it actually makes a lovely pairing. I've also got a Linden that's made out of um, two other colors of that same range of fabrics, those loop back jersey medals. And it is a really lovely lovely fabric for all sorts of projects including the linden so um, a lovely colour of that one as well. Also in the window Jo just thinks of so many lovely little touches it's got a gorgeous little fun rainbow garland in the window as well which you see better from the outside of the shop but but I did take one little video clip where I think you can kind of see the reflection of it in the window as well but it just looks really fun and I think it just always adds something to the window when it's got that little sort of garland hanging over the top. Then then we also featured in the corner the sneaker kits. So we have just had in two new colours of soles for the sneaker kits. So they now also come in a natural rubber colour and then also a black as well. So it was just the white they used to be, but then they brought out these two new colours as well. So we've got a big range of sizes in all of the three different colours and in the kit that you can get from us. You, so you get the soles and the insoles, some waxed thread and a needle to sew them so they're all just hand sewn you don't need to sew them on a machine and then we do have some leather that is available on our website as well it's actually leather that we had in when we used to teach this as a workshop but because we're still not in a position to be able to offer workshops then um, I decided to just put the leather online and sort of you know if you wanted to get the leather from us but um, we don't usually sell leather it's not a sort of speciality of ours and I'll put a link to where I would recommend you get leather um, 
Manor side leathers in Redditch, which is quite close to the shop, um, which sometimes I think it's the same company as Misan Textiles um, or Misan Leathers. I think they're all sort of part of the same group. They do amazing leathers, and that's where I would recommend going for a really lovely big range of different colours and everything. But yeah, we do have some sets of leathers available on the website just now. So I hope you've enjoyed having a look around the window and it's given you a bit of a feel for what it looks like if you're not local and you can't walk past. So I'll put a link to the blog post that goes with this video in the description to the video and in that post I will link all of the patterns and the fabrics that we've used for these garments so they are all available to buy from the website or online but we are out of stock of quite a few of them at the moment and um, so if there is one in particular that you like then please do email us and we can let you know as soon as it's back in again it also helps us to know how much to order if we know how much people are waiting for as well so do just get in touch if anything's out of stock that you're looking for and um, i did mention this in my instagram live video last friday but i also wanted to mention it here in case anybody um doesn't tune into those videos about reopening um, so so if you are local or if you are in the UK and you're hoping to make a trip to the shop soon then um, I wanted to let you know that we won't be reopening on the 12th of April. So if you aren't in the UK at the moment we are in a lockdown in England which means all non-essential shops have to stay closed to in-store customers but they can offer a click and collect. So the 12th of April is like the day that non-essential shops are allowed to reopen again if they want to and I've put quite a lot of thought into this and Customers coming into the shop is something that's so important to me. I absolutely love it. I love having customers in the shop because it's such a lovely space. And I love being able to share that with people and that you can come in and get lots of inspiration. But there are a lot of things that go into consideration when I'm thinking about reopening. And the main one really is at the moment that I want customers who come into the shop to have a really good shopping experience. And that means that everything that is available in the shop that you can see when you come in is available to buy. Now, that means that we always have to be on top of our online orders because we only have one space to cut all of the orders. So all of the orders that go out that are placed online all come from the shop floor. We don't have any other separate sort of warehouse or stock room or kind of location to send all of that from. It all comes from within the shop. So it means that we have to be up to date with picking our online orders so that when customers come in, they don't see a fabric that is perhaps actually already been sold to an online customer, but it just hasn't been cut from the bolt yet or from the roll and sort of put to one side for that customer. And being able to keep on top of them is quite a fine balancing act because it can be quite unpredictable sometimes how many online orders we're going to get. We are, you know, slowly getting used to um, a greater demand of online orders. Obviously, over the past year, so many more people have been shopping online, which is fantastic because it's great, you know, that we can send out fabrics to so many people all over the country and all over the world. Um, but being able to just sort of keep really up to date with that level of demand while serving customers that come in the shop as well and making sure that they can get all of the help and advice and the browsing experience that we are really proud of just takes a little bit of extra work and extra figuring out so I really hope to be in a position soon to confirm a date that we will be reopening and um, that should be hopefully sort of mid to the end of April that I'll feel like I can um, kind of commit to a date that I can reopen again but do just keep an eye on our website and on the social media channels as well and I'll post an update on there. So thanks for watching everyone. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already then just remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video and I'll see you soon. Bye!